want a dollar And don't you give me a dime Until you bring back That little girl The only slang we talk out on these streets is gospel Keep my flesh under subjection when things get too hostile Some people wonder why, you know I'm on fire for Jesus the way that I am at such a young age. Well, I'll tell you why. At 14 years of age, my dad stopped coming around in my life, really was non-existent. And prior to that, I really only saw my father probably once or twice uh, a month, if that. Uh, at 19 years of age, my mom passed away of an aneurysm. Uh, leaving behind a nine-year-old girl, a one-year-old son, and myself. Now, kid you me, man, I didn't know nothing about life. When my mom passed away, I really was forced to just live by myself, slept in and out of my car, dealt with rage, pornography, strife, bitterness, unforgiveness, loneliness, a lot of demonic activity. I mean, that was one time, man, I, I remember I was in Baltimore, Maryland, and I was really dealing with depression heavy, man, hearing a lot of uh, demonic voices, man, in my head, and I was in the shower, and uh, the devil told me to write this letter in red, and so I did, and I wrote this suicide note, and what I tried to do, man, is I tried to drown myself, and in the midst of me trying to drown myself, I heard God tell me, he said no, and when I heard him say no, and I felt him just, you know, fear grip me because I really didn't want to die. And, um, and I heard the Lord just tell me, no, man, I, I just suddenly stopped. You know what I'm saying? Shortly after that, man, as the years progressed, man, I just began to uh, just sink further and further and further. Started drinking and smoking and, and uh, committing fornication, man, and just really didn't have an identity as far as no purpose, no plan for life. Uh, really the scripture says that we've been predestined to be conformed into the image of his son I thought I was predestined to be conforming to the image of the devil like I thought I was predestined for hell like there was no escape for me I mean there were times in my life where I didn't I didn't even want anything to do with God and I remember one time playing ball and a guy came to me and he was like hey man I I know these girls, you know what I'm saying, and uh, they're at this church, and I need you to go see them. And so me, you know, I thought I was some player or something. I went to this church in intent to find some girls and join the church and found Jesus and uh, received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, man, and really got born again, for real. I started living for the Lord. Now, when I got saved at 17, I really was just like, God, you know what I'm saying? I need somebody to father me. Like I said, I didn't have a father in my life. You know, growing up in, in Fort Worth, Texas, man, uh, single parent household, father really wasn't around, really didn't have any role models to, to teach me about manhood, to teach me how to, you know, be a good husband, to teach me how to be a good father, to teach me how to, uh, honor uh, managers on the job in, with integrity as unto the Lord. Uh, teach me how to be a good steward over my finances. Those are things that uh, I think that are missing, man, in the church today. You know what I'm saying? And in the body of Christ, uh, you know, people just not preaching the full gospel. But I fell in love with Jesus because uh, of the simple fact that he comforted me in my weakness. You know, he comforted me with my weakness. He came to me when I didn't come to him. And the word of God says this. It says that, you know, while we were yet in sin, Christ died for the ungodly. And that was me, I was ungodly. And I felt like I was unfixable, like nobody could fix me. And so the fact that Jesus continued to minister his grace to me and let me know that I was fixable really revolutionized my life forever, man. You know, if anything, man, I just really encourage you uh, to really just uh, seek truth, spend time in the Word of God for yourself. So this is why I love my King. This is why I love Jesus, man. This is why I'm a radical for the gospel, man. It's because I didn't love him first. He loved me. 
And when I was running away from him, he was coming after me, even when I didn't deserve it. My name is Worshipper, and that's what um, I'm about, man. It's just really the gospel.